Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. Welcome to the Taunton High School commencement ceremony for the class of 2021. I am Matthew Matos, the very proud principal of Taunton High School, and I now ask that we all remain standing for the playing of our national anthem by a concert and symphonic band. Thank you very much, everyone. Please be seated. First off, isn't this an amazingly beautiful day right now? This is a beautiful day. Congratulations to all you graduates on a beautiful day. Welcome once again to our graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. We are outside for the first time in over 15 years, and we all know why. This is a wonderful day a gorgeous day, a glorious day. And all of us are here today, family and friends, faculty and officials, to celebrate the class of 2021's commitments to academic achievement. These excellent students, these leaders of tomorrow, have successfully completed 12 years of education in the Taunton Public School System. And we are all ready today to give them a well-deserved send-off. Please make sure that we try to be respectful of others nearby that we maintain social distancing as best we can, and that we keep our masks on when in close proximity of other people, not in your household. Also, during this event, please make sure that all guests remain in the stands. No one is allowed on the track, inside the track and field area. Parents and family members wishing to take photos of the graduates may do so after the ceremony when they recess from the field. A few brief reminders before we proceed to make this event move as smoothly and as quickly as possible. Students and guests, please silence all cell phones so they do not go off during the speeches or the reading of the names. This is a very special, classy occasion for our students. We do not want family members and guests traveling far to be here and not hear the student's name being called on this celebratory day. Please refrain from using air horns or any other devices that may cause a disruption as the graduates' names are read. Every student here deserves to hear their name heard loudly and clearly. As always, if needed, we have some accommodations for our audience, including first aid and water, which will be available from Nurse Solange bork Duby, who will be located near the concession stand. Please be informed that as the graduates recess from today's graduation ceremony, they will proceed directly as they did, all the way back out around the stadium and families will be able to take pictures in multiple places, either in front of the school, anywhere on campus, as socially distanced as uh, best we can, please. I would now like to introduce our students, staff, and dignitaries sharing the stage and our special seating areas here today. Your senior class president, Olivia Weber. Your valedictorian, Olivia Dias. Your salutatorian, Aiden Scully. 
our Honourable Mayor, Shauna O'Connell. Mayor O'Connell will be introducing our city and state dignitaries momentarily. Our Superintendent of the Schools, Mr. John Cabral. Our Assistant Principal, Mrs. Kristen Keenan. Our Taunton High School Alternative Principal, Mr. Robert Delaney. Members of our school committee, Mrs. Josephine Almeida. Ms. Carol Doherty. Ms. Christine Fagan. Mr. Joseph Martin. Mr. Gregory DeMello. Mr. Nathan Palowski. Mr. David Souza and Mr. Jordan Fiore. Our Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum Instruction, Mr. Christopher Barada. Our Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Operations, Mrs. Brenda Moynihan. Our Associate Principals, seated in the back of the graduates, Mrs. Jamie Pereira. Mr. Jason Torres. Mr. Eric Lafay, and Mr. Joseph Pomfret. Many people have contributed countless hours to make this day a success. I would now like to take this opportunity to acknowledge their efforts as they have worked and contributed so hard to make this very trying time a positive and happy experience for the class of 2021 today. I ask that you please hold all of your applause until the very end. Our marshals, sensational academic leaders of the junior class, Kiana Barros, Nicole Drake, Ariba Khan, Samuel Schumacher, Kyla Perrett, and Alec Rigo. Mr. Corey Beltran, Dan McKenzie, and the THS band, Major Anderson and Master Sergeant LaPlante, and the AFJROTC cadets, Steve Medeiros and our high school custodial staff and city maintenance crew for constructing our stage and graduation setup. Steve Jakes and the students of the THS television studio. School resource officers, Casey Holmes and Brian Shavs, as well as all the members of the Taunton Police Department and Fire Department assisting us here today. Our THS groundskeepers and THS parent-teacher partnership volunteers who helped with making the campus look beautiful today. And of course, the THS Guidance Department, Secretarial Staff, Paul Bachman, Kristen Keenan, Jen Andrews, and Kristen Sullivan, who have done a great deal of behind the scenes work on the National Honor Society Banquet, THS Faculty and Community Scholarship event, and today's graduation. Also a very big thank you to our main office secretary, Karen Lasser, for the printing of close to 500 diplomas and the preparation of all of our invitations along with Mr. Matt Bork. Also to Deb Munier, Monica Cuno, Sue Fernandes, Corinne Wera for assisting with graduation rehearsal, and most importantly, the entire faculty of THS and our alternative high school, your teachers, several of whom are seated amongst you today. As everyone can see, they wanted to be a part of your commencement ceremony as well. It takes a lot of hard work for many people to pull off this massive celebration, and I want to sincerely thank all of those involved for their efforts. Thank you very much to all those people's names we just mentioned. And now, to begin our list of speakers for the Taunton High School Class of 2021 graduation, your senior class president, Olivia Weber. Good morning and welcome. I'd like to thank you all for joining us today as we turn toward a new chapter of our lives. After 12 years of counting down the days and wishing to be liberated from the school, I must say leaving is a lot more bitter than sweet. Let me take you back to the beginning, back to Ocho year, as we desperately tried to find our crowd 
and navigate ourselves through the seemingly infinite hallways of Taunton High. We were overwhelmed and intimidated. For me, these feelings were intensified when tragedy struck at the end of the school year. When I lost my father, my world fell apart, but Taunton High seemed to catch me as I fell. Through this heartbreak, each coach, student, teacher, and staff member found a way to not only comfort me, but to foster my pernicious pursuits. I was never left behind. The English department sent me words of encouragement. My best friends comforted me day after day. My track team provided me with a second home. My coach, Mr. Moore, stepped in as a positive figure just as I had lost mine. His guidance throughout these past five years has defined my aspirations and shaped my character. The year I lost a piece of my heart, you all rebuilt it. As many of you may know, my dad struggled with mental health. And because of this, I've grown passionate about advocating on his behalf and for those who struggle as he did. Taunton High has provided me opportunities to ignite this passion by supporting a club to raise awareness of mental illness, helping me organize workshops, and facilitating fundraisers in support of mental health charities. Thank you, Taunton High, for being the catalyst to lead the change that the world needs. And thank you to my classmates for doing this with me. Serving as your class president this year has been an incredible honor. In my Harvard interview, I was asked about my classmates' influence on my high school career. I think my interviewer regretted this question immediately because, wow, did I have a lot to say. The intelligence, kindness, and grit that this class embodies will forever impress me. Whether I was watching our sports teams win a state championship, browsing the research of my peers at a regional science fair competition, or clapping for the dozens of Taunton High finalists at a DECA state competition, your dedication did not go unnoticed. I am so proud of what each and every one of you have achieved, and I'll continue to carry this Tiger Pride with me. To the other eBoard members who have worked tirelessly to throw together a prom, plan senior events, and connect our class, thank you for an unforgettable senior year. Although our class lost what was supposed to be some of the best memories, we still found a way to make up for this lost time. From senior nights to senior skip day, we have bonded through struggle and came out stronger. I have no doubts regarding the class of 2021's ability to prosper in a dynamic world and achieve success, because you already have. But how you define that level of success speaks volumes to how far you have come. Success is using your work to improve the world around you for the well-being of others. This year has been consumed with adversity. And during a global pandemic, suffering loss in our own community, even bearing the absence of our beloved colonial donut shop. However, together these obstacles stood no chance. If there is something that Taunton as a community has taught me, it's our potential to be advocates for the issues and inequalities around us. Education in Taunton is more than a curriculum. It is a way to foster the young leaders who become the change that they crave. The refusal to succumb to whatever struggles we have endured shows that as long as you stand for something, you cannot fall to anything. And stand up you have. You have planned protests, you have served our community, you have stood up for justice. And through adversity, we have found opportunity and passion. However, it is important to reflect on where this passion stems from. For me, the source is my family. I think we all owe a thank you to our families. Those who drove us to school, attended our athletic events, sat through our long ceremonies, and dreaded the length of the annual science fair. I cannot give a speech without mentioning my gratitude for my family. To my best friend, my mom, I cannot tell you how large your influence on me has been. Whether it be driving an hour to Reggie Lewis just to see me run a five minute and 47 second track race, sitting with me through hours of homework, or writing me positive post-it notes after a long day. Thank you for keeping me going and being my sunshine. You've shown me strength and generosity in everything you do. To my sister, thank you for being the beautiful soul that you are, constantly hyping me up and inspiring me with your ambition and drive. And to my dad up in heaven, whose dream it was for me to attend Harvard, we did it. 
For years, I was told I was reaching too far, dreaming too much, and chasing things that would never manifest. But here I am, and here you are. Continue to prove those who doubt you wrong. To engage in doubt is to let go of your power. Your story is in your hands. On behalf of the class of 2021, thank you Taunton High for your unconditional love. And most of all, thank you for believing in us. We will never forget where we came from. Thank you, Olivia. Our mayor of the city of Taunton, the Honorable Shauna O'Connell. Thank you. Good morning. I am honored to be here today as we celebrate the Taunton High School graduating class of 2021. A lot of care and effort has gone into making this a special day for you and your families, and we thank everyone who was involved in bringing us together today. I just want to take a moment to recognize a few of the dignitaries that have taken the time to join us today. We have with us City Councilor Don Cleary, City Councilor Barry Sanders, and City Councilor Phil Duart. I also want to take a moment to thank and commend the students who have chosen to serve our country in the United States Armed Forces. We are grateful for your commitment to protect and defend our great nation. It's truly a privilege to share this special day with you. Your parents, your loved ones, your teachers, and this community are beaming with pride at your perseverance and your accomplishments. It's been a long and sometimes uncertain path to navigate, but there is much for which to be grateful. As you look back on the road you traveled to get here, it is filled with challenges that have made you stronger, opportunities that have helped you grow, and people that believe in you. Challenges, opportunity, and people. Challenges are a good thing, and they come in all shapes and sizes, from the challenge of choosing a vocation or a college, to the challenge of finishing your last year of high school during a public health pandemic. Challenges test us, they motivate us, and they teach us. Don't ever stop challenging yourself. Opportunities are also a good thing, but opportunity can be scary. Taking an opportunity often means taking a chance, stepping out into the unknown. Don't miss out on an opportunity because it's easier to do what feels safe and comfortable. And people, they are the best thing. Life is all about relationships. But let's face it, relationships can be complicated. So focus on yourself and how you treat other people. Be kind, be tolerant, and be forgiving. As you move on to the next chapter in your life, remember that you are the author. No matter what your next step, there is greatness within you. I wish you much happiness and success as you make your path in life and make a positive difference in this world. Congratulations, class of 2021, and God bless. Our valedictorian, Olivia Dias. Okay. 
Good morning, class of 2021, families, faculty, and distinguished guests. Thank you for being here. Thank God all of us here today were able to make it through the C plus kind of a year. I want to thank everyone who helped me along the way so that I now hold this distinguished honor. I want to thank all my friends for being a great support system and always uplifting me. Thank you to Mr. Manos, Mrs. Golder, and Mrs. Andrews for helping me in my college admissions and scholarship process. Thank you to the teachers that went above and beyond this tumultuous year. Special thanks to three teachers who helped me at Taunton High. Thank you, Mrs. Olette, for being an amazing land teacher, cross country, and track coach. Thank you, Mr. Moore, for being an amazing coach and always waiting two to three days for me to respond to your text messages. Last but certainly not least, thank you, Mrs. Shaw, for helping me to find my passion and drive for computer science and always being my biggest supporter and advocate for my academic success. Thank you to my amazing grandparents, aunts and uncles, sisters and cousins for always being there and loving me. Thank you to my parents for putting the fear of God into me by threatening to spike me. I'll probably regret saying that once I get off the stage. <laughs> Writing a speech is a lot harder than I thought it would be. If this was a race, I would have been able to warm up, stretch, and then get right into it. I thought an idea would just miraculously hit me over the head and I'd be able to write the perfect speech. I told myself, well, once you see the right words, the speech will just come to you. Well, it didn't. I realized that I was spending too much time trying to create the perfect speech. Instead of fixating on perfection, I should have been focused on my personal best. That is why today, instead of telling you the perfect speech, I'll give you the best speech I could possibly think of, focusing on three life principles, best, better, and beyond. Part one, do your best. What does it mean to be the best? Well, it's an arbitrary title. What does it mean to be your best? Your best is tangible and attainable. That one word, your, makes all the difference. Be your best. It's like when I run the 400. I am not focused on being the best. I'm focusing on being my best. Right now, I'm running injured. Even though I run with discomfort, I'm still running my best. It might not be the best I've ever run, but it's the best I can currently run. Push yourself to achieve your personal best. It is impossible for everyone to be the best but it is possible to be your best. It will require you to step out, outside your comfort zone to achieve your personal best. But your future self will thank you for putting the time and effort into doing your best now. Don't wait to go after your best. Do the harder thing. Learn how to not fall prey to what is comfortable. It might not be easy, but it is simple. Part two, doing better, better. I don't mean trying to maximize your potential. What I do mean is supporting others to maximize their potential. By ourselves, we might go fast, but we can't go far. Sometimes we need to take the time to help others achieve their best. If you are not present in the moment, then you miss a valuable opportunity to nurture others. It is like a track meet. If you've never been to one, they're like three hours long. I run for like 60 seconds. So you best believe I'm belting at the top of my lungs, screaming and cheering on my teammates for the two hours and 59 minutes. Winning a track meet is an accumulation of personal best. Each individual is an intricate part of the team's success and we must support each other along the way. We all need to work those supporting muscle, muscles because we will go farther as a team than as an individual. You can focus on your own race, but you winning a race does not win the track meet. 
In order to win, your teammates must also maximize their potential. Maximizing their potential means you are getting more out of the people you're around by supporting them. Come on, they're right behind you! <laughs> I know that made me, me look a little silly, but you have to be willing to make yourself a little silly for someone else. Part three, going beyond. Finally, go beyond yourself. We need others as much as they need us. We all are part of something bigger. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. It's like being a part of a four by 400 relay. I know, you're probably sick of all these track metaphors, but I promise this is the last one. There are other people that you rely on to help you win the race, but you are an integral part to the relay team's peak performance. Team members pass the baton to the next runner, contributing to the success of the team. If the baton is dropped, the team is disqualified. If you pass the baton too soon or too, too late, the team is disqualified. If you interfere with rivals, the team is disqualified. You rely on your teammates to successfully finish the race. In that moment, when you receive the baton, you carry their ambitions. You connect to that drive to win. You commit to something greater than yourself. It gives you the motivation to do your best. You are thinking beyond that feeling of discomfort. You are thinking beyond that embarrassment. You are thinking beyond yourself. Those that go beyond themselves will be able to soar to higher heights. In conclusion, do your best. Help others to do better and go beyond yourself. When you do these these things, you thrive in this competitive world. However, true competition is bringing out the best in ourselves and others. Bring out and be the best you can be. We have been able to thrive through the year of the disease that shall not be named. We are the future and as bright as we make it. We are about to leave high school and embark on a journey that will influence the rest of our lives whether it's going to college, joining the military, or going straight into the workforce. We need to be ready for what this world will throw at us. We need to recognize that in order to do our personal best in life, we need to support others and go beyond ourselves. Run the race of life to the best of your ability. Thank you and congratulations. Go Tigers, roar! Yeah. Thank you, Olivia. Our superintendent of the schools, Mr. John Cabral. What a year and a half it's been. Prior to the pandemic, I didn't need readers, and I had a full hairline. Well, maybe the hairline was already there, but the readers are definitely new. But I really, instead of hearing me crack jokes, I think you really want to hear me address the amazing class of 2021. So if you'll indulge me five minutes, I promise we'll get you on to the next speaker. Titan High School Class of 2021, I am so excited to stand before you as your superintendent and offer you my congratulations. First though, I wanna welcome all the proud parents, guardians, grandparents, brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles, and extended family. This is your day too. I know you are all bursting with pride as you watch with your graduate mark this important milestone in their lives. The entire Tom Polk Schools family joins you in celebrating this wonderful occasion. Your hard work has paid off. Graduates, you probably already know this, but you are a very special class. On this important day, I want you to take stock of how you have all brilliantly rose to the occasion this year. Despite a once in a generation global pandemic, you showcased what it means to be from the community of Taunton. When faced with adversity, we don't, we don't cower. Instead, we turn to each other and we move forward. You have navigated this most unusual school year 
with uncommon grace and perseverance. I know it is easy to think of all the activities and things that you missed out on, but I want to push you to look for the silver linings, the moments that transpired despite the hardships and yes, at times, disappointments. There are silver linings all around you. Consider for a moment that you are the only senior class in the Taunton Public School history to have not one, but two, but three opening days. If you count the remote opening day, the hybrid opening day, and the five day in person opening day, you had three. That's pretty exciting. And I want to thank all the parents for your support of emails. <laughs> I hope you sense the sarcasm. In all seriousness, this is a year that has given you a skill set that takes adults many years to acquire. Resilience. This will serve you in the many years to come. When you get knocked down, and yes, you're going to get knocked down from time to time, you have to get back up and you have to continue. You have learned this lesson earlier than most, but this will be your secret weapon in the next chapter of your life. I continue to be impressed with how our community met challenges of the moment this past year. Of course, I'm not surprised because that's what we do here in time. I watch as our students put the needs of others first, embodying the very best of what it means to be a servant leader. This skill will serve you well as we emerge from the pandemic. While life as we know it is slowly coming back, our recovery here in Taunton and beyond will take much longer. As you go off to college, work, or service, keeping the mindset of servant leadership will set you apart. Look for those ways, big or small, where you can help to make a difference. There are plenty of opportunities. Just look around you. This past year, we witnessed movements of social justice take center stage in a way that we have not seen in generations. It is your voice that will shape where these movements go from here. Take that responsibility seriously. When you see an injustice, it is your obligation to do something. That is what means to be from Taunton. Be bold and proud in your declaration that you will not tolerate anything less than full equality for every person, period. This is how you will help to shape a better future. Taunton has always been for the little guy, so use your voice in that pursuit. Whether here in Taunton, on a college campus, in the workplace, or on a sports team, all it takes is one to make a difference. You graduate at a time of wonderful change in our nation and throughout the globe. You have been set up for success with all that you have learned in the, your years here in Taunton. But you have also grown as people. You have the smarts, the heart, and the grit to make change happen. We have big expectations for each of you and we know that you will not let us down. I am proud of each of you, and I know I am not alone. Taunton produces exceptional people, and now you are joining the ranks. I hope you will let this moment and your accomplishment sink in, in your memory. The memories that you made on this football field, on the track, in the bleachers, hallway, cafeteria, classrooms, Look around you. You see classmates and teachers who have been by your side through it all. I know you have many wonderful memories that you will take with you. In the years to come, my hope is that you will look back at this time and it will bring a smile to your face. You have many exciting adventures ahead of you, but few will be as formative as these years. Your foundation. Of the 500, wow, 528? Of the 528 graduates, many of you have known no other home than Taunton. Some of you will make your futures right here. Others will go off to college and return. Some of you will plant your roots elsewhere, in another city, town, state, country. But regardless of where you go, 
You have all shared this experience, and you have this experience in common. You are the Taunton class of 2021, the class that helped to shape the new standard. So my request of you is simple, and it is this. Wherever you go, take the best parts of our community with you. Be Taunton's ambassador. Show the world what it means to be from here and how it can be replicated for good. So I hope you enjoy this day. Take the time, let it soak in. While it is easy on days like this to dream about what awaits you in the future, make an effort to be present in the moment, to take in the love that surrounds you, and to leave here today, remember to make smart choices and reflect the best on all that you have accomplished, but most importantly, have fun today. You have earned it and you deserve it. Be kind to each other, do good, don't be strangers, and we are very excited to learn about all that you will do. Thank you. It has been an honor to serve as your superintendent. Our salutatorian, Aidan Scully. Family, friends, and faculty, and most distinguished guests, the class of 2021, and well, you know the rest. Well, my friends, we made it. It has not been easy, and it has often not been fun, but we did it. We're graduating. Now, you don't need me to tell you that this year has not been what any of us expected. A graduation like this would have been confusing if you had tried to explain it to my eighth grade self. But then again, you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men. We quickly realized as a community that the old ways couldn't work anymore, weren't safe anymore. And so we rallied together. We adapted, we overcame, and we took it in stride. But I don't want to talk about those 15 months here today. Because as much as today seems more like the culmination of those last 15 months than the four years that came before, we would not be here if it had not been for the work we've put in each and every day since we first entered this building as eighth graders. Our experiences in this building have not all been the same. That much I can say for certain. So it would be disingenuous for me to come up here and foist my experiences upon you, to drone on about the grandeur of the moment or something like that. Today means different things for different people. For some, today is a stepping stone to further education. For some, it means the end of your formal education as you go off to serve our country in the workforce or the armed services. But right now, for this beautiful, fleeting moment, we are all the same. Together, we are the Taunton High School graduating class of 2021, and that bond is one that we share. Look around you. Do you know the people sitting next to you? How about a seat over, a row over? How far do you have to look to find someone you've never spoken to, to find someone whose name you don't know, to find someone you've never seen before. There are people in this crowd you've never met and may never see again, but we are still a community. Sure, we might not know each other's names, but did that stop us from cheering on our teams as they competed for state championships? Did that stop us from showing up faithfully at our concerts and plays? Did that stop us from decking ourselves in black and orange to celebrate all of our fellow students' accomplishments? Of course not. But you don't, need to, you don't need me to tell you that our class has been tested. But when hardship strikes, we handle it the same way we handle our triumphs as a community. You rallied by the hundreds to walk out of school to protest gun violence that has taken the lives of too many of our fellow children across this country. You rallied by the hundreds to adorn yourselves with green bandanas to show that mental health is as important as physical health and that we will always be available to support one another. You consistently showed up for clothing and food drives in our schools. You made your voices heard at student and community forums and advisory groups. You gave back through coaching and tutoring at schools and community organizations across the city. And you gathered a thousand strong at Church Green to demand loudly and with one voice that we must make immediate and comprehensive reform to end the scourge of systemic racism. Don't tell me you're the leaders of tomorrow, you're the leaders of today. Your moment is not off in the distant future, your moment is now. The ills of the present can lull us into apathy or they can spur us to action. You have chosen the latter. And this school, this community is better off every day because of it. And when push comes to shove, you stand up for each other. Your service to this community, whatever form it may take for you, transcends whatever boundaries may have been put in place to divide us. 
and your service to others will continue wherever you find yourselves in September. You will make your voices heard, you will demand more from your government, and you will support each other because that's what you've been doing. You don't need me to try and wax poetic to find the motive. You've had it in you since you got here. Now, the simple and unfortunate fact of the matter is that though we may cross this stage as equals, after we collect our diplomas and leave here today, we will walk out into a world which will not see us as the same. Our differences will be exploited, and that which separates us will supplant in the public eye that which binds us together as students and human beings. This moment, where we all stood together as a united student body, will become harder and harder to recollect. That is, if we let it. Now is no time to be bitter. Now is no time to pity ourselves for what we've lost. Now is no time to accept the world as it is. Stagnation has gotten us nowhere. The evils of the past have come and gone, but in their place have arisen new problems, modern quandaries that the old ways are no longer capable of addressing. Those old solutions don't work anymore. Perhaps they never did. But our generation is more attuned to these issues. Diversity is not an aspect of our future, it is a fact of our lives. Respect is not a virtue, but a requirement. Hope is not blind idealism, it is the only way forward. I want to close by sharing a quote from a favorite essay of mine, from a favorite author of mine, History by Ralph Waldo Emerson. There is a relation between the hours of our life and the centuries of time. As the air I breathe is drawn from the great repositories of nature, so the hours should be instructed by the ages and the ages explained by the hours. Of the universal mind, each individual man is one more incarnation. All its properties consist in him. Every revolution was first a thought in one man's mind, and when the same thought occurs to another man, it is the key to that era. My friends, you share your fundamental humanity with each and every person who has come before you. You possess the wisdom of Plato and Confucius, the rhetoric of Walker and Fuller, the tactic of Sun Tzu and Caesar, the compassion of Gandhi, Mandela, and King, and the might of Douglas, Chavez, and Huerta. Every titan of history was once a student. You hold in your grasp the power of revolutions, of protests and uprisings, and that sweet but ever distant ideal of justice. You have only begun to flex your abilities. The world is yours to change. I want you to look around you again. Find a person whose name you know. Ask yourself what you've done to make their life better. Ask yourself what they've done to make your life better. Now find someone you don't know. Ask yourself what you can do to make their life better. It can be something as simple as congratulating them after you leave here today, or as grand as passing policy to improve their well-being. Each of these and everything in between is within your grasp. Just as King and Huerta and Rankin and Gandhi and Chisholm and Hampton rejected the world as it was and bent the arc of the moral universe towards justice, so too can you become the architect of a better world. We are in desperate need of new solutions, new ideas, new leaders. And every idea that was once novel was birthed from the same human mind that you now possess. Go forth into the world and make it better, however you can and with whatever resources you possess. Every improvement is an improvement. Govern yourself with love, and remember this day when all 500 of us stood together as one. May all our days be so beautiful. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2021! Thank you very much, Aiden. And uh, now we have the chairperson of the Taunton School Committee, Mr. David Souza. Good luck following that. Hello, everyone. The first thing I'm going to say to my colleagues in the dais is who put me behind Aiden Scully? Uh, Olivia, I'm going to try my best. That's all I can say. Good morning. I welcome all families, friends, and distinguished guests who have joined us here today in celebration of the graduating class of 2021. It's an honor and a privilege of mine to greet and congratulate the class of 2021 on behalf of the Taunton Public Schools and the Taunton School Committee. Graduating from high school is no small feat, especially during a global health pandemic. Over the past year and a half, the world has been faced with enormous uncertainty as we collectively battle COVID-19 and the impacts of the virus. Overnight, 
you transitioned to remote learning during your junior year, which continued into your senior year. Instead of starting the year in the classroom next to your friends, you attended classes virtually from the safety of your homes. As conditions began to improve in our community, you transitioned to hybrid learning and eventually full-time in-person learning five days a week. As a school system, I am proud to state that your health, safety, and well-being were always at the forefront. You've all had to endure many ups and downs as you've navigated the school year like none other. But that didn't stop you all from showing up, continuing to learn, and growing as individuals. Before our very eyes, you all have, all have grown into highly capable adults who have continued to rise to meet the challenges, the needs, and the responsibilities of everyday life, even in the face of great adversity. During a time of uncertainty, sadness, and loss, you have all rallied together in support of one another. Your endurance and resilience have been a guiding light during this difficult time. The challenges put forth to you over the past year have prepared you and equip you with the tools to face any obstacle that may come your way in the future. I encourage all of you to not dwell on what you missed out on, but instead reminisce on all the fond memories that were made throughout your time within the Taunton Public Schools. The memories and relationships that were forged here will remain with you as you navigate your future. I also implore you all to thank those who helped you achieve your accomplishments thus far. Your parents, teachers, coaches, instructors, school administrators, friends, and countless others. These support networks are what will stay with you. And while I have no doubt of your ability to prosper independently, always remember that you have a home here at the Taunton Public Schools that will always be pushing for your future successes. On behalf of my colleagues on the Taunton School Committee, congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish the class of 2021 all the best. Have a great day. Congratulations. All right, class of 2021, I now have the privilege on behalf of the elementary, middle, and high school teachers who have all positively influenced you throughout your Taunton Public Schools journey to deliver to you the headmaster's farewell address to the graduating class of 2021. From all the speakers before me, you have heard about your resiliency in the face of this pandemic. We have heard about how this has not been a normal senior year. We have heard about the struggles and the hardships you've all faced with the hybrid, remote, and in-person half-filled classrooms. What I want to focus on is your perseverance, the way you kept going in the face of this adversity, the manner in which you kept your spirits high and your attitudes positive. You banked on your friends and your teachers to get you through this past year, and it has paid off here today. You could have sat idly by and moped and said, woe is me, but you chose not to. You chose to enjoy your senior year to the best of your abilities. You became closer to your friends and teachers despite the social distancing. You elevated relationships at a time in our lives where relationship building is needed on all fronts. Instead of being upset and edgy about your senior year, you all worked towards bringing out the best in it. I am proud as you helped Tiger Nation get through the 2021 school year. 
You are an amazing group of individuals, an amazing group of students who banded together for tremendous individual team and club accomplishments. Seated amongst you right now here today, we have a National Merit Scholar, Skills USA gold medalists, gold medal award winning writers, math team champions, division one baseball and softball state champions, conference champions in track, pro start state award champions, a West Point cadet, six students heading off to Ivy League colleges and one going off to MIT, several national foreign language exam medalists, multiple science affair awards winners, DECA state champions and state officers, several division one and two signed students athletes, CTE students who have attained an apprentice level drafting certificate from BCC already, several performing arts district and state musicians and vocalists, and distinguished AFJROTC unit members. We are very proud of all of you for your accomplishments. We have over 500 students here who have shown that a connected student is truly a better student. And you have all truly been connected to Taunton High School, therefore making it a better place for everyone. Within each one of you is a skill, a gift, an ability that's waiting to blossom. For some of you, this may have already happened. For many of you, it will take place in the coming years during college or in the military or in your near future work experiences. Your unique ability will shine through and you will benefit from it. We have implored upon you the learning expectation of TIGERS, T-I-G-E-R-S. And I know that every one of you know what it is because there's an S on the end and you're scholarly. Teammates, innovators, global citizens, effective communicators, respectful and responsible, scholarly. That's what TIGERS do. They are effective leaders, they become leaders, and they will be leaders forever. We want you all to be leaders. We have taught you to be leaders. Non ducor duco. I repeat, non ducor duco, which is Latin for, I am not led, I lead. We want all of you to be leaders. By the way, Scully, that was pretty good, huh? You know, for a guy who took four years of Latin at UMass Amherst back in the 80s, I think I just nailed that just now. That was pretty impressive, huh? Too bad Latin is dead. Um, although I may, just, I may just finish the rest of my speech in Latin right now. What do you, what do you, what do you think of those apples? Sorry, Mr. Matos, but knowing Latin, it, it's a skill. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You, you have to know how to do it. It's like beginning an event without joking about wearing shorts behind the podium. It's just not something uh, all of us can do. Okay. All Let right. me so, say, quomodo tibi placet ilamala, or should I say, how do you like them apples? Oh, okay. All right. I see where this is going. Um, well, uh, let's just see how good you are with your Latin, my friend. Uh, Bring how about it on. a little challenge? How about you translating some of my uh, Matosian sayings that the seniors make fun of all the time? Like, uh, hey, I'm so psyched to be here today for the graduating class of 2021. That's a classic. Pro graduatione, duo classis milium. Atque viginti uni ego concitatus sum. All right. Um, how about this one from the uh, class assemblies I know you guys love. Uh, the amount of money you will earn is directly proportional to the amount of education you will receive. Another classic. Et magnitudo quantitatis aeris meridis est analoga quantitas disciplina trahis. All right. Okay. <laughs> There are 350 other high schools in the state of Massachusetts, and they're all competing for your job. Es alterai trecentai scolai cum discipulis in nostra quivitate quivident negotiis. Connected student is a better student. Discipulus quiunctus atque est tantoniensis. Discipulus qui melior tempore ulomensis. Um, tough one. We are tigers, teammates, innovators, global citizens, effective communicators, respectful and responsible and scholarly. Try that one. All right. Sumos. Soki ai atletai, machinatores, kiwes mundi, comunicatores epicaces, honesti et fidi et literati. Sumos smukchul. I'll be honest, that one makes a little more I sense I got you that time, yeah. didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Now for the big challenge. Uh, this is one that um, you know the parents and the uh, people in the audience may know. And um, I'm going to mix in a little bit of the Eagles right now. So uh, this is actually the first time that uh, I've ever sang at a graduation. But uh, I just want to see if I can get you on this one. Uh, everybody think of the Eagles and think of um, You Can't Hide Your Lying Eyes. So I'm going to go with um, You Can't Hide Your Tiger Pride. Ito Wero Magister. Non potes abscondere, tuam superbi on its tiger. <laughs> Et tuus risus, non tenuis persona, non cognosco reliquum canons. Close. That was, we'll, 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 we'll count that one. All okay, right. uh, right. so <laughs> to, our, uh, <laughs> to our future uh, Dr. Aidan Scully, the stage is yours, my friend. Do you have anything else you would like to say in Latin? I have just one line that I want to share with you. For san et haik olim meminisse juabit, durate et vosmet rebus servate secundis. Perhaps someday it will please us to remember even this. Bear up. Save your strength for better times to come. Gratias wobisago amici et bona fortuna omnibus. Very good. Omnibus. Omnibus uh, goes back to an old movie, you know, Omnibus, Omnibus, you're on a bus. We miss the bus, they miss the bus. It's a uh, little Johnny Dangerously for you there, future Dr. Scully. Uh, your parents may recall that movie as well. A uh, very special thank you to Aidan Scully, a young man who has learned a great deal of Latin from Taunton High School. I know he has just made Mrs. Jessica Willette and his parents extremely proud. That is his gift, that is his skill, that is his ability that he is allowed to blossom here in Tiger Nation. All of you have that same special gift, a similar gift, a skill and ability that's unique to you that is waiting to blossom. And today is the new beginning for all of you. Today we have heard from several distinguished leaders, both students and dignitaries, who have specific inspiring messages for all of you. But we always wonder, what would just the typical Taunton High School graduating student have to say if they were able to come up here and say it? about how this building has positively affected their lives. What would they say? A few years ago, I started reading some student thoughts at graduation, and it's sort of become a tradition. I would like to continue that here today with a few students who have provided me with some thoughts and reflections of what Taunton High School has meant to them. Here's what they had to say. I've got to admit, as an eighth grader five years ago, I was kind of nervous about coming to THS. Then after a couple of months, I got into a groove and I knew what was expected of me. It's a system, and once you get it, you start following the system. I love my teachers who helped me a lot. I love the sports, my teammates and coaches, and I've made lifelong friends. What I will remember most about THS is that there has always been a positive vibe in the building, and I always had fun here. Congrats to the class of 2021. Nigel Choate, please stand and wave to the crowd. Walking into THS as an eighth grader five years ago, I had no idea what the impact of this school would leave on me personally and with my future endeavors. I have called this school my home, a place where I created many meaningful relationships, gained confidence in myself, and have been able to explore different skills that I have grown to love. I found my true passion at THS through many of the amazing courses that this school has to offer. Thank you to the faculty and staff of THS and to the class of 2021. Go Tigers! Ella Dunderdale, please stand and wave. <laughs> to the THS administration, thank you for creating and perpetuating an atmosphere of inclusion for every individual student. To the THS staff, I will always appreciate your dedication and drive in aiding us as we walked the path through young adulthood. And to my fellow class of 2021 graduates, I will forever cherish the memories we created here. Thank you, every one of you, for allowing a class of over 500 students to succeed in the best way possible.
Michael Obiyama, please stand and wave. For the past five years at THS, I have done cross country and track and field. Coming into the high school as an eighth grader, I knew I wanted to run and be a part of the team. For the first few months I was here, I heard Mr. Matos on the intercom every day talk about being a connected student is a better student. And even though it was repetitive and he was trying to drill it into our heads, I truly believe now he was 100% right. If it wasn't for me getting involved with this sport, I don't think I would have made the connections and relationships that I've had. Being connected with cross country and track and field helped me be more obligated to my THS, academics, and the whole school community. Being connected made me want to go to school more because it kept me motivated. My teachers and coaches here helped me gain confidence in who I am as an individual, a student, and an athlete today. Now we all know what that phrase really means. Stay connected, class of 2021. Lily Valkovic, please stand and wave. It has been an honor for me to read those reflections and to Nigel, Ella, Michael, and Lily, I thank you for allowing me to share your beautiful thoughts about this wonderful school with everyone here today. Those are just four small examples from students about how this school has positively shaped you or helped you get here today. And I'm sure each and every one of you could have written one of those notes as well. <clears throat> today, class of 2021, you graduate from Taunton High School and enter our new real world where we don't know what normal is anymore, but we trust, we trust that you will figure it out with the love of your family and your friends. We feel that we have prepared you and we are confident in you and we know you will attain the highest levels of success. Think back to when I constantly told you in those class assemblies that you were competing with those 350 other graduating students in the state of Massachusetts alone as well as when it happens, because all high schools in Massachusetts and across the nation are graduating their students in the coming days and the weeks ahead. And the race will be on, and we want you to go out there and beat every other student for that job or that spot in college that you want. And I can't believe you are just walking up here in the middle of my speech. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, AT and EOG. I know you want to hear from them instead of hearing from me. <laughs> Good morning, Tigers! <sighs> Probably, you know, it's afternoon right now, but ignore that. Today is graduation day. Usually, <laughs> this is normal by the way, we are just voices you may or may not hear in the morning. So having to speak in front of all of you today is a little nerve-wracking, not gonna lie. Yeah, and not to mention the last time we did announcements, we were bawling our eyes out, thinking it was the last time we would speak in front of all of you. So today, instead of crying and giving an emotional speech that nobody wants to listen to, we want to thank everyone who has brought us here on this day. Mrs. Keenan, would you do the honor? This might be a little cheesy, but stay with us. Since we want to hear from all of you, but can't hear all of your voices, we want to hear from you in a different way. We ask you all to participate in a double clap following Mrs. Keenan's cue. We're gonna start off with an easy one. Double clap if you never want to hear the terms COVID, remote learning, and social distancing ever again. Double clap for all the people who supported you along the way, especially if they're in the stands right now, in this heat for you. Double clap for the Taunton Public Schools administration staff, from the superintendent to the school committee, to principals, to headmasters, to guidance counselors, teachers, secretaries, coaches, club advisors, athletic directors, and beyond, who helped us all along the way. Double clap for the people behind the scenes, such as our custodians, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, athletic trainers, support staff, and school nurses who keep us together and clean up all of our messes. 
Last one, best one. Everybody stand up. Let's give a huge round of applause to the class of 2021, who had to overcome more than any other class in Taunton High School history. Do you want to say that now? Thank you for allowing the two of us to represent arguably the best class Taunton High has ever seen. From our shared experiences, memories, and laughs, to our class's athletic accomplishments on the school, league, and state level, to our clubs and activities, future goals, and individual accomplishments. We are so proud of each and every single one of you. Congratulations. To our class, oops, sorry. <laughs> this has been your Stuco Vice President, Alana Tavares, also known as AT. And this has been your Student Council President, Emily O'Gara, or EOG. Officially signing off for the last time. Peace! All right, we are getting close. Uh, while you have all been at THS, you have learned the significance of being a critical thinker. You have learned the importance of being a lifelong learner. And most significantly, you have learned the power of being a part of a solution. I know where to give credit, where credit is due. You graduates make it absolutely clear that Taunton High School lives up to its mission statement every single day. You have been academically excellent, socially responsible, and here today, you have made every one of us proud that you are citizens of this great city of Taunton. You have attained civic pride. So remember, all your friends, stay in touch with one another, maintain your friendships, call your parents every single week and tell them you love them, and continue to make the city of Taunton very proud of you because we will always remember the class of 2021 and you and your great years here. You're an amazing senior class and you will always be a proud part of Tiger Nation and you have all earned your Tiger Stripes here today which are on your chairs when you walked in and very special congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much class of 21, great senior class. Thank you. Now, before we begin the reading of the names, I would like to uh, ask Mrs. Kristen Keenan, our uh, assistant principal, to come to the podium for a special acknowledgement of the honors graduates of the Taunton High School class of 2021. Mrs. Keenan. Thank you all. I am so very proud of all of you. You've been a spectacular class. And Aiden, I wanted to thank you for reminding me the importance of the classics and that as adults, there's a lot that we should and shall and could learn from you every day. So thank you for that. Um, these students that I'm about to announce have strived to succeed academically and the faculty and administration of Taunton High School would like to acknowledge them today. I ask that all students called Please remain standing until the end of the list. And please hold your applause until all the names have been read. These students have earned a grade point average of 4.7 or higher. They are summa cum laude. And please stand when I call your name. Manor Abbas. Kevin Barboza. Hunter Cabral, Chloe Cambra, Victoria DeRosa, Olivia Diaz, Sydney Edwards, Jeremy Gay, Marissa Gay, Rachel Joseph, Mackenzie McAloon, Tyler Nunes, Anna Rodriguez, Aiden Scully, Alana Tavares, Nolan Tavares, Olivia Weber.
The following students have earned a grade point average of 4.1 or higher, magna cum laude. Matthew Abuzid, Hannah Aldrich, Eric Allman, Kaylara Andre, Jillian Andre, Tara Biloli, Haley Benjamin, Ryan Benner, Emily Bent, Rebecca Berry, Thomas Babaruzian, Abigail Boynton, Caden Cabral, Nathan Candido, Rebecca Candido, Bryn Chown, Jordan Cuda, Martin DeFoth, Megan DeCuda, John DeLang IV, Riley Desmaris, Ryan DeRosius, Alexandra DeVoe, Daisy Donahue, Halima Duart, Ella Dunderdale, Cassie Dusalt, Trevor Emma, Colton Fagan, Dylan Fraga, Evan Francis, Mackenzie Garcia, Allison Geibel, Gianna Gilmore, Michelle Henderson, Taylor Hill, Lindsay Jakes, Deontay Jenkins, Sarah Johnson, Alexander LaCourse, Daniel LaCourse, Anastasia LaJoy, Gabriella Lateo, Tyler Lima, Daniel McDougall, Elijah Marshall, Mark Marvel, Veronica Medeiros, Joseph Mulhern III, Camden Mullen, Haley Murphy, Isabella Neely, Christiana Noguera, Travis Nunes, Michael Obiama, Sophie O'Brien, Ashton O'Connell, Emily O'Gara, Olivia Oliveira, Sophia Oliveira, Jocelyn Paliuka, Caitlin Parker, Jamie Peoples, Claire Petnick, Brooke Pina, Delaney Rasmussen, Skylar Reum, Madison Ribeiro, Angel Rizzo, Nylan Rodriguez, Ariana Santiago, Alexis Sequeira, Caitlin Smith, Christian Stracolusi, Vincent Stracolusi, Jonathan Zilagi, Jacob Thorpe, Madison Vigliotti, Mackenzie Wallace, Camilla Watts. These students earned a grade point average of 3.5 or higher, cum laude. Jordan Abuzaic, Thomas Ambrose, Spencer Andrews, Kayla Botello, Talia Brito, Lydia Buckminster, Ty Callie, Emma Campbell, Isabel Salucci, Kaisha Charles Mark, Ashley Cherry, Laurie Cole, Kyla Cook, Karen DeCuna, Ashley DeLuz, Colby De Silva, Sarah Dennis, Nathan De Resendiz, Kiana Diaz, Tatiana Dibbles, Paige Doman, Abigail Donovan, Isabella Doyle, Madison Default, Denver Diverno, Camden Faria, Jalen Fernandez, Matthew Ferreira, Akina Fisher, Riley Fitzsimmons, Love Fletcher, Lara Furtado, Taniva Gern, Brooke Godwin, Jared Hackett, David Harris, Stella Hathaway, Brooklyn Hausman, Emily Houston, Dmitri Jonas, Madison Johnson, Macy George, Upoma Khan, Isabella Kiker, Sarah Kowalski, Justin Labrode, Zachary Leal, Al Monroe Lehman, Corey Madeira, 
Juliana Manish, Shelby Margie, Jasmine Martins, Kyle Matos, Hannah McEntee, Jack McGonigal, Rosemary McGrath, Alexander Medeiros, Cameron Mello, Riley Merritt, Annabelle Miduin Estervern, Kimley Moreland, Brielle Morris, Praise Ogandana, Philippe Oliveira, Edward Paiva, Isabella Polaris Quintana, Finian Parsons, Ethan Papoli, Dana Podson, Connor Quinlan, Alani Royster, Isabella Russell, Nicholas Salloway, Kaylin Sanborn, Kelly Simmons, Gavin Rosinski, Anya Steele, Brady Steele, Christian Stefanoff, Tyler Stewart, Victoria Sylvia, Nicole Tavares, Tiana Texera, Juliana Therian, Kennedy Felker, Nolan Tomaziki, Megan Toey, Lily Valkovic, Allison Vicky, Mariana Vieira, Brian Volpe, Gavin Weldon, Brianna Westgate, Kelsey White, Connor Wittinger, Kathy Yang, and Morgan Zakruski. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present for your acclamation the honor students of the Taunton High School class of 2021. Very impressive. Congratulations. A lot of gold and yellow cords out there. Congratulations to our honor students. Please be seated. And now, before we uh, begin reading of the names, a brief reminder uh, to the audience to be respectful of the graduates and the families in attendance today. We do not want distractions which may take attention away from the graduates as they cross the stage. Please refrain from using air horns or other noisy devices. As I've said before, the students are paced. So if we have any of those noisy interruptions, we may miss a student's name. So please make sure we are uh, attempting to do that to the best of our abilities. So now, I am going to call Mr. Jason Torres, Associate Principal, to the podium to begin the reading of the names for the class of 2021. Congratulations. Good afternoon, and congratulations to our graduates. Manur Abbas. Jordan Joseph Abu Yazbek. Matthew Andre Abu Zaid. Rodrigo Mendonca Ashidinya. Kevin Acosta, Sky Cassidy Aguiar, Hannah Bernice Aldrich, Jaden Lee Allen, Eric Rodrigue Allman, Carla Alessandra. Ramos Amado, De Josiah Echevarria Amaro, Thomas Jeffrey Ambrose, Juliana Rose Andrade, Kaylara Fonts Andrade, 
Marcelo Lopes Andrade. Nevea Jade Andrade. Sierra Lynn Andrade. Jillian Elizabeth Andre. Spencer James Andrews. Arielis Annette Aponte. Samira Paula Aponte. Alec Louis Ardita. Nathan Daniel Arietta. Kaylin Madison Arpin. Madison Mary Frances Aruda. Malik Isaiah Ash. Joseph Roy Acevedo. Madeline Lee Backey. Mason Mandeville Badger. Heather Elizabeth Bailey. Devonte Pires Barboza. Kevin Cabral Barboza. Kevin Duane Bates. Rook Theodore Bazinet. Carmela Rose Belmont. Tara Regina Joe Baloli. Haley Francis Benjamin. Ryan Jacob Benner. Thank you. Emily Caitlin Bent. Olivia Rose Bergeron. Carlo Maria Bergui. Janaba Elijah Bernard. Rebecca Lynn Berry. Luis Gustavo Burstescher. Nicholas Ryan Barabee. Colin James Bignar. Stephen Dakota Blanchard. Noah Stephanie Blass. Shaheem Lavar Blue. Thomas Nathaniel Boberusian. Angelina Arnetta Louise Bocook. Ryan Miguel Bonilla. Kayla Isabel Botello. Cameron Lee Bosquin. William James Boutouet. Abigail Page Boynton. Patrick James Boynton. Talia Gonzalez Brito. Tyler Jackson Ayala Brooks. Olivia Elizabeth Brosnan. Craig Anthony Brosnan Jr. Ashiana Deshauna Brown. Lydia 
Isabella Bucks Buckminster. Ella Morgan Bunker. Richard Arnold Burnham. Deontay Kenneth Manuel Bynum. Hunter Joseph Cabral. Caden Mark Cabral. Nelson Paiva Cabral. Pericles Cabral. Ruben Gravito Cabral. Antonio Zekiel Caceres Arroyo. Ty Douglas Cali. Chloe Clara Cambra. Dolan James Campbell. Emma Ray Campbell. Nathan Nacimiento Candido. Thank you. Rebecca Nacimiento Candido. Dylan Arthur Capello. Loriana Lanira Cardoza de Pina. Matia Casagrande. Oh, yeah. Isabel Grace Salucci. Brittany Charles. Kaisha Charles Mark. Alexandra Victoria Shavs. Xavier Marcellus Chivas. Ashley Christine Cherry. Nigel Lamar. Choate Jr. Thank you. Bryn Priscilla Chown. Matthew Jack Clark. Jaden Miguel Cohn. Lori Rayana Cole. James Stephen Collins. A Vivianette Cologne. Isaiah Adnell Cologne. Kyla Ann Cook. Courtney Lynn Coppinger. Marvin Miguel Cordero Rosario. Chelsea Elizabeth Correa. Silvana Moreno Correa. Alec Enrique Cotto. Crystal Cotto. Matthew Joseph Coughlin. Daria Monet Council. Jaleel Kamari Council. Emily Rose Kudo.
Jordan Connor Kudo. Zachary Leo Crotty. Abiana Francis Cruz. Brianna Anid Cruz. Jalissa Neve Cruz. Walter Jesus Cruz. Taya DaCosta. Karen Ferreira DeCunha. Martin Borislav DeFov. Ashley Lima Diaz DeLuz. Madison Ellen Darling. Maneki De Rosa, Tatiana Isabel De Rosa, Victoria Joyce De Rosa, Kobe Matthew De Silva, Marion Barboza Da Silva. George Davis. I'd now like to welcome Mr. Lefebvre for the continuation of the reading of the graduates. Thank you, Mr. Torres. Nadalyn Delion Reyes. Megan Millicent Dakota. John Charles Delang the Fourth. Damon. Jacob DeMello. Martin Henry Demps. Sarah Yannick Dennis. Nathan Louis DeResendes. Dimitri Derejean. Riley Elizabeth Damaris. Ryan Nicole DeRosiers. John Christopher Devine Jr. Alexandra Lynn DeVoe. Elijah Samuel DeVries. Maggie Dewhurst. Olivia Marie Dias. Kiana Carasquillo Diaz. Tatiana Tamara Dibbles. Alyssa Faye Delito. Thomas Christopher Domal. Paige Mackenzie Doman. Daisy May Donahue. Abigail Marie D. 
Donovan. Kerry Dorleans. Wolf Dorsonville, Jr. Courtney Alana Dos Reese. Isabella Patricia Doyle. Halima Teresa Duart. Kendall Germain Dublin. Woodson Deuce. Madison Marina Dufault. Ella Walsh Dunderdale. Cassie Reed Duso. Denver Brian Duverno. Malik Isaiah Easter. Sydney Faith Edwards. Trevor James Emma. Colton William Fagan. Camden Michael Faria. Destiny Michelle Feliciano Cologne. Nayana Barros Fernandes. Jalen Octavia Fernandez. Sonia Jean Fernandez. Christopher Edward Ferrara. Matthew Joseph Ferrara. Jacob Matthew Ferrara. Aquina Sharon Elizabeth Fisher. Riley Philip Fitzsimmons. Love Montasia Fletcher. Matthew David Flint. Alexis D. Flannery. Dylan Joseph Fraga. Evan James Francis. Lex Dakari Francis. Kiki Doris Francois. Jason Anthony Freights Jr. Robert Louis Fries III. Lara Beatrice Furtado. Daniel James Garcia. Mackenzie Susan Garcia. Nicholas Richard Garnum.
Kyle Robert Gaskins. Jeremy Marshall Gay. Marissa Eve Gay. Jackson Gendron. Maya Grace Gerard. Tanavia Marie Helene Gern. Allison Elizabeth Gabell. Gianna Jean Gilmore. Jaden Dane Glover Craig. Brooke Elizabeth Godwin. Barbara Ferrera Alves Gomes. Frederick Horacio Gomes. Arani Sandro Sakira Gomes de Pina. Christiane Carlos de Pina Goncalves. Destiny de Pina Goncalves. Teresa Duarte Goncalves. Imani Lynn Gonzalez. Aliyah Marion Gonzalez. Yasmarie Nevea Gonzalez. Christy Ann Gorman Murphy. Alina Rose, Dorothy Green. Enid Delai Gross. Keisha Guerrero. Dennis Michael Guinan. Michelle Elizabeth Gurley. Rosemary Gurley. Jared Christopher Hackett. Parker Albert Hackett. Kendall Barbara Handrahan. Dylan Rollins Harnoys. David Blaze Harris. Stella Blue Hathaway. Jabin James Hayden. Breton Lewis Heggs. Michelle Celeste Henderson. Madison Ivy Henricks. Donovan Xavier Hibbert. Curtis Joseph Higgins. Taylor Lee Hill. Brooklyn Hausman. Emily Elizabeth Houston. Aiden Christopher Hauche. Samantha Nicole Ingersoll Alferi. 
Elena Danny Jackson. Lindsay Elizabeth Jakes. Margot Emma Jadou. Edwin Jean. Shakira Jean. Bianca Jean Philippe. Mia Jeffries. Deontay Joseph Jenkins. Dimitri Joannis. Madison Donna Johnson. Michael Scott Johnson. Riley Nicole Johnson. Sarah Janine Johnson. Samara Catherine Jones. Taylor Marie Jones. Macy Rose George. Rachel Joseph. Christina Faville Cavanaugh. Gavin Patrick Kelly. Ian Edward Kennedy. <laughs> they'll, they'll help you out. <laughs> Apoma Khan. Isabella Maria Kiker. Alec Christopher King. Sarah Elizabeth Kowalski. Charles Ryan Krieski. At this time, I turn over the podium to Mrs. Jamie Pereira. Thank you, Mr. Lefebvre. Christian Nathaniel Labrie. Justin David Labrode. Alexander James LaCourse. Daniel Paul LaCourse. Anastasia Jean LaJoy. Andrew Robert Lally. Brendan Nicholas LaPlante. Zachary Anthony Leo. Al Monroe Lawrence Lehman. Jack Briscoe LeBlanc. Gabriella Elizabeth Leteo. Lama Labours. Annabella Marie Levesque. Serena Ray Lewis. Malik Luis Fuentes. Tyler Alexander 
Lima. Ricardo Lanos Melendez. Carrington Giselle Lopes. Joshua Emil Lopes. Tracy Stephanie Lopes. William Lopes. Nandu Baisa. Lernalise Lopez. Jerry Louis Saint. Samantha Lee Lucas. Ashley Patricia Claire Luna. Nathaniel James Lunn. Colin Brady McDougall. Daniel James McDougall. Nicholas Joseph Machado. Lexi Marie McCarty. Corey Juan Medeira. Kara Lee Mailhot. Ariana Marie Malave. Michael Kenneth Manchester. Jackson Robert Manville. Sean Michael Mangos Johnson. Thank you. Juliana Pauline Manish. Emily Rose Mann. Jordan Tyler Manning. Marcus Vega McCall. Shelby Lee Margie. Elijah Robert Marshall. Andrew Robert Martin. Rosalie Evelyn Martinez. Jasmine Valerie Martins. Mark Robert Marvel. Isa Masunga. Kyle Joseph Maddows. Mackenzie Mary McAloon. Dominic Richard McCrowan. Hannah Elizabeth McEntee. Jack Sheehan McGonagall. Rosemary Jean McGrath. Kendra Lee McLeod. DeAndre Robeson McPhail.
Devante Bacchus McPhail. Alexander James Medeiros. Veronica Medeiros. Cameron Jeffrey Mello. Ariana Mary Mello. Denzel Depina Mendes. Maria Clara Mendes. Elizabeth Mendes Petit. Riley Allison Merritt. Kaishan Adrian Michelle. Annabelle Maduen Estevern. Cassidy Lynn Miller. Kaylee Ann Mills. Sam Malord. Kiara Jade Miranda. Nathalia Rose Miranda Madan. Star Asia Piela Montial. Madison Grace Monsion. Ashley Kiera Monez. Cassia Helena Diaz Monez. Doris Evelise Marino Montero. Selma Barros Montero. Kevin Montero Correa. Kimley Juliet Morlant. Jessica May Morrill. Brielle Renee Morris. Jalen Morris. Joseph David Mulhern III. Camden Ross Mullen. Tiffany Gabrielle Mullings. Haley Lynn Murphy. Isabella Helena Neely. James Ernani Nera. Casey Amaru Neves. Brady Edward Nichols. Haley Ann Nicolulius. Christiana Simone Nugeta. Haley Elizabeth Nolet. Haley Rose Northrup. Aaliyah May Norton. Travis Sean Noons. Tyler Alexander Noons. 
Asia Amani Nurse. Michael Obiyama. Sophie Kathleen O'Brien. Maurice Ocasio. Ashton Rose O'Connell. Cody John O'Connor. Good job, Cody. Good job. Emily Lauren O'Gara. Praise Ogundana. Colin Leonard O'Leary. Jonathan Olivia Ramos. Good job, Jonathan. Philippe Medeiros Oliveira. Liana Elise Oliveira. Olivia Suzanne Oliveira. Sophia Rose Oliveira. Zachary Tyler Oliveira. Liam John O'Neill. Anastasia Marie Ortiz. Hannah Marie Overton. Jocelyn Ann Paliuka. Edward Philip De Silva Paiva. Isabella Pilaris Quintana. Caitlin Rose Parker. Finian James Parsons. Riley Quinn Patton. Thank you. Jamie Marie Peoples. Blake Jeremy Pepin. Ethan Richard Pepoli. Wansley Jefferson Percival. Fabiana Adriana Texera Herrera. Jordan Osvaldo Pereira. Jonathan Julian Perez. Allison Marie Persinini. Eric Watson Petrusowitz. Liana Sabrina Pierre. Harshly Pierre Louis. Jesus. Claire Ann Pietnik. Brooke Christiane Pina. Jose Enrique Pinata. Larissa Rocha Pinto. Kevin Antunes Pyers. Alex Jason Pyers Fortes. 
Brandon Terrell Plummer. Dana Joseph Podzin. Cameron Joshua Poisson. Congratulations. I'd now like to call Mr. Joseph Pomfret to the podium for the continuation of the reading of the names. Okay, here we go. Damien Alexander Pont. Dominic Lewis Pont. Drew Alexander Pont. Derek James Powell Jr. Sora Paola Presentu. Khalil Praval. Good job, buddy. Taylor Jade Quindley. Connor Patrick Quinlan. Garrett Russell Rainey. Cam Neil Rasmussen. Delaney Gail Rasmussen. Savannah Elizabeth Rabello. Skyler Jean Rayum. Tristan James Rhodes. Madison Isabel Ribeiro. Sean Douglas Richardson. Angel Anita Rizzo. Kyle Jacob Robinson. Willow May Robinson Brennan. Stephen Zachary Roderick. Anna Rose Rodriguez. Nathan Demario Rodriguez. I'm reading the names of the people that are that are in line. Nalen Marcel Rodriguez. Michaela Marie Rodriguez. Mile Angel Rodriguez. Garrett Vincent Rodericks. Sarah Marie Rossi. William Joseph Rowan, the fifth. Alani Rain Royster. Isabella. Juliet Karin Russell. You're welcome. Tony Nicole Sabin. Cameron Joseph Salazar. Nicolas Scott Salloway. Katrina Rose Salvo. Jody Ali Sampson. Donea Patrice Samuels. 
Kaylin Angel Sanborn. Alex David Sanchez. Rebecca Lynn Sanchez. Ariana Santia Santiago. Evan Jacob Santiago. Matthew Ramos Santiago. McGill Alberto Ramos Santiago. Kendrick Noel Santos Fuentes. Justin Adam Sass. Sorry. Dylan Edward Schofield. Aiden Robert Scully. Isaiah Marquise Selden. You're welcome. Alexis Marie Sequera. Aliana Shepard. Maya Lee Silva. Nevea Tanias Silva. Justin Michael Simmons. Kelly Elizabeth Simmons. Harupneet B. Singh. Cole David Skinner. Caitlin Mary Smith. Soleil Corinia Sorel. Isabella Rose Souza. Cole David Sparks. Gavin Paul Shrizinski. Saz Lily Wilner St. Mark. Sazley Wilner St. Mark. Anya Elizabeth Steele. Brady Jocelyn Steele. Tyler Allen Stewart. Christian Gabriel Strakwalerski. Vincent Anthony Strakwalerski. Xavier Giovanni Suazo Roque. Michael Edward Sullivan. Victoria Jean Sylvia. Julian Alonzo Taboda. Alana Rose Tavares. Nasir Denzel Tavares. Nicole Soares Tavares. Nolan Richard Tavares. Adrian Taylor Jr. Tiana Leilali Texera. 
Juliana Stella Therian. Kennedy Justice Felker. Jacob Benjamin Thorpe. Dylan Edward Thomas. Nolan Anthony Tomaszewski. McKenna Nicole Lehua Travers. Jeremy David Turcott. Megan Kaylee Tuig. Stephen Paul Urbanus Jr. Lily Anna Velkovic. Marlena Arnell Velmont. Gavin William Vargas. Natalie Yvette Velasquez Sanchez. Mariah Ivolis Velez. Morel Louis Vendrell Perry. Allison McKenna Vicky. Mariana Bizarro Vieira. Albertino Junior Vieira Silva. Madison Marie Vigliotti. Brian Joseph Volpe. Mackenzie Page Wallace. Camila Alexa Watts. Olivia Rose Weber. Vanessa Jean Webster. Sanaya Daphne Webster Richardson. Gavin Robert Weldon. Andrew James Westgate. Brianna Lynn Westgate. Stephen Michael Westgate. Tyler Joseph Wetherill. Kelsey Ann White. Gabriel James Williams. Connor William Wittinger. Devin Michael Woland. Good job, Devin. Just go right over there, okay? There you go, buddy. Kathy Yang. Alexandros Yankos. Alexis Grace Claire Young. Deja Marie Abreu Young. Lacey Marie Young. Jacob Emerito Youngsman. Scott Brinton Yasmi. Come on, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Sadu Yusifu. Congrats. Morgan Anna Zakshevsky. Razel Margaret Zavala.
We are just uh, waiting a few moments for the last graduates to have their picture taken, so uh, please be patient. Okay, here we go, Taunton High School graduating class of 2021, please stand up. I would now like to call Mrs. Josephine Almeida of the high school subcommittee to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Matos. I can't tell you how proud I am of each and every one of you. You came to us as babies. You were our babies of the Taunton School Committee, Taunton School Department, your parents' babies. And today, your young men and women, graduates of Taunton High School. Mr. Cabral, Mayor O'Connor, Mr. Matos, members of the school committee, could you all stand please? Members of administration, please stand. And may I present to you the graduates of 2021. You may turn your tassels. God bless each and every one of you. Could I please have the marshals up front? The marshals up front, please. And the marshals will begin the recession. Please recess out your lines. <laughs> 